Here I am at Harad Oriental. Looking at a rug, it's a very traditional de uh, design. Uh, medallion, large pendants, a little bit of floral sprays around the medallion. It's, um, it's an attractive traditional piece. Navy blue border framed in white. Gives a nice look. This is an inexpensive rug. This is a Persian Tabriz. Um, I'll get off of the uh, top of this stack and walk over and take a little closer look. But um, it's a 30 Raj Tabriz, which puts it at the low end of the Tabriz scale. Uh, <coughs> and you're buying a look. You're buying it for a number of years. But then again, you're not gonna, your grandchildren aren't going to haul this off to Sotheby's and sell it for $100,000 or $50,000. This is where you're buying a rug for a period of time. That's the difference between the high end and the low end on these rugs. Now, as I look at this rug, we can see that the articulation of the design is not what we'd expect in a much higher knock count rug. <coughs> in fact, there's a certain almost geometric quality to these that you can see if they were coarser again, they'd end up looking like Harry's. A Harry's is basically a, 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 a Harry's is very much a coarse to breeze. They they're clearly related. So now, as we go in, let me switch this over. We can see, and using my thumb for comparison, you know, we can see the, the level of design. What makes a difference is this is going to hold up. Now here we look at the back. Uh, it's a typically to breeze back. Um, you can see on the 30 Raj, you can see more of the warps and the wefts. Um, they don't have as much wool as the higher, higher Raj or higher knot count to breeze rugs, but that's just the nature of them. Um, like I said, you're buying a look.